Hey, what's going on my friends? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and today I'm gonna to share with you seven signs that you are an old soul. I would suspect most of the people watching this already know they're an old soul. So this is more so, being brutally honest, a message and a confirmation video for old souls because we're living in a very, very unique time where the world could really use your old soul energy, your old soul creations, your old soul personality, as wild as it might be and very well is, now is the time of the rising of the old souls. So this video is to remind you of who you are and what you came to express to the world. Because I know it's not easy being an old soul. It sounds kind of cool, I'm an old soul. It's not always easy. Your, your Martin Luther Kings, your Albert Einsteins, people like that, they weren't always appreciated in their time initially. A lot of them have dealt with a lot of the outliers and the revolutionaries of our time. The, the real old souls manifest have been heavily ridiculed and uh, oppressed and you know, they have not had an easy time forging a new path but they felt within their bones that this is who I am and this is what I came to do and by God, I'm gonna do it no matter how it plays out. And that's the kind of depth and the wisdom that you old souls who watch my channel and are watching this video possess. So the aim of this video is to trigger you to remember who you are, to feel encouraged to be yourself and to let your old soul freak flag Fly. Number one, I wrote down, you're a lifelong intuitive. Meaning, intuition can be cultivated through things like meditation and yoga and practice, etc. But you have been naturally highly intuitive your entire life. In fact, it's interesting because earlier on in a lot of old souls lives, they have actually a bit of anxiety and feel uncomfortable with what I'll say uh, the impressions they get from life because they can tell that not everybody is picking up on the signals they are picking up on and it can make us feel the worst thing ever, different, isolated, anxious, what's wrong with me? Why am I this way? I just want to fit in. I just want to be like everybody else. So the earlier life of the old soul, though very intuitive, can be a bit unnerving and challenging. And a lot of us aren't really taught or encouraged to trust our intuition, even though it would be incredibly wise to do so. In fact, my life changed about 13 years ago or so when I spoke to this, this psychic guy I saw, his name was Kevin. And it was the first time I saw this dude. He was a really, real psychic, psychic, this guy. And anyway, that aside, he was telling me, he said, Victor, he told me, he said, Victor, you're very, you're like an old soul. You're very intuitive. He said this exactly, he said this. He said, when you think, when you like think someone's a butthead, they're a butthead. You can trust that. Start trusting your intuition more, Victor. It'll really benefit you. And when he said that, I like, it resonated, it clicked with me. And I started doing that. I started looking at myself as like, yeah. Like I started seeing my intuition as a good thing and as a worthy, a worthy and valid source of guidance. And I said, you know what? I wonder what would happen if I started taking action on my intuition. And I did. And my life literally transformed from that point forward radically. I'm a completely different person in a completely different situation now because I started, I finally had someone to, tr to encourage me to trust what I was already feeling within. So old soul, if you are not trusting yourself, then you should. Number two is this, old souls dare to be different. It's hard for them not to be different. Old souls are bringing forth a, a, a greater amount of their soul's personality. That's why they have that old soul wisdom and intuition about them. But oftentimes when you put forth such a bold 
unfiltered personality, it's perceived by the masses, by most people as being different, off, odd, strange, weirdo, freak, etc. But the old soul doesn't feel good when they're living their life as a phony, so they are who they are and they let their freak flag fly regardless. But that is also not easy. I wasn't always like that. I used to always keep my freak flag tucked away in my back pocket so no one could see it. I remember back in seventh grade, I was, uh, when I was in sixth grade, the sixth grade I had all these friends. But then I went on to seventh grade and most of those friends went to a different school and I found myself in junior high kind of all by my lonesome. And I like, I was terrified to express who I was. I, I, I felt like I had a lot to say and I felt like I, I loved myself to an extent, but I was really, I didn't have the courage to wave that freak flag. I didn't really dare to be different at that point. But things have changed and I realized that regardless of how I'm perceived, I can only be happy when I am myself. And when I, when I just am true to myself and ironically, when I started doing that, even though who I turned out to be is quite strange to most people, my life got better. I'm happier. I'm abundant. I'm free because I decided just to be myself. And you can use maybe my example as encouragement to it can be done because like, Imagine the shock to my friends and family when I stopped what I was doing, stopped being the person they expected me to be and decided to be the Ascension Energy Update YouTube guy. And, and it, what I talk about on my YouTube channel is so unusual and perceived as weird to most people, including all the people I grew up with. Um, but I came to a point where I realized that in spite of that, it's still the better way because I'm happy being myself. I can, I can let the mask slip and then eventually just take it off and throw it over in the corner. And there's such freedom and liberation when one dares to be themselves. And old souls are really good at mustering up the courage to do that. Even if you all haven't done that yet, know that's your role as the old soul is to be yourself so that you can give other people permission to be themselves. Old souls can't do small talk. Isn't it exhausting to participate and put your energy and focus into a pointless, superficial conversation? I can't stand doing that. It's difficult. It's like nails on a chalkboard doing that. I can't do it. So when I don't have something to say, I just prefer to be quiet. And I was actually very quiet growing up through school and through like, through like early grade school and so forth. I was always really quiet because I just didn't, didn't feel right to me to participate and again, what I perceive to be kind of pointless, superficial type of small talk. Old souls, they, they long for something with depth and meaning and relevance. So you might be sort of boring at the cocktail parties, even though you have a lot to say and you do. One thing that might help some of you old souls that find themselves quiet in the corner, again, not wanting to participate in the mindless small talk is this. It's not that you don't fit in. It's not that you have nothing valid to say because you do it, that you haven't yet found your people, found your audience. We're living in a very special time, my friends, where the old souls are going to start attracting each other, where the lights of the world will start attracting other lights of the world. And you might be surprised at just how many old souls you can come in contact with. And then when you express your authentic self in the, in the way you want to, there will be other people that, that love what you have to say and, and support you and reciprocate. And, and it's this beautiful thing. I felt like this until I started on YouTube. I started, it's funny, I had five YouTube channels at one point because I wanted to be a YouTuber. And the one that I'm doing now, the one that actually worked is the one I had no expectation on. This is like my diary, this, the Victor Odo channel. I just talked about whatever I wanted to. Totally blunt, totally honest, totally off the cuff. And guess what I realized? I was surprised to realize there's a lot of freaking other weirdo old souls out there 
just like me. And this is the one that took off and it made me really aware of just how many, now hundreds of thousands of people are out there that would vibe with me. And if I can find hundreds of thousands of people that vibe with me, I'm pretty out there. I know you can as well. So don't feel like being quiet or not being super boisterous in a very phony way is a fault. It doesn't mean you have social issues. It means you have yet to find your ideal audience or your ideal partner or a group of friends. Keep looking. Don't settle. They're out there and you old souls have the intuition to know that's true. Old souls are very creative, extremely talented in some ways, but they won't take credit for it because they know their creative expressions are coming from something else beyond them. It reminds me of this book I read called Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. Really solid book. She's, a, she's like the famous author, author of that book, uh, Eat, Pray, Love. And she wrote this book all about creative expression, about writing in particular. And she talked about getting ideas and, and inspiration for writing. She talked about the ideas as if they were their own independent entities, meaning not scary, but like ideas in a sense, in her perspective, have kind of a life of their own. And ideas in a sense you can imagine is floating around the world, looking for people that might bring them to life and express them into the world. And those people who have the courage to get the inspiration and express it do. But the magic, the creation, the art, the masterpiece isn't really the person's um, responsibility. It was not really coming from just the person. It's the idea itself funneling, like funneling through the person. And any real great work, any real pure creative expression, the person doing it knows that. They know it's not coming from them. It's coming from someplace else. You can't put your finger on it. Maybe you can't explain it, but you know there's a magic flowing through you. Well, old souls are tapped into that magic. They're highly sensitive and, and perceptive to that magic, the ideas that are floating around the world. And they're, they're, they're ideal conduits for creative expression. But again, they know, they're humble enough to know that it's not just their creation. This next one is this. It's going to sound kind of funny, but it's true. Old souls are not atheists. Old souls know there is something, some kind of divine fabric that binds us all together and connects us all that is divine in nature and there's a, a harmonious order to things even with the appearing, the appearance of, of chaos that we feel in, in our earthly experience here. There, there's the divine order. And we're going to all explain it differently. Some of you might explain it through religion. I doubt a lot of you probably do that, though some of you do. Some of you just have your own little way. Some of you never even talk about it, but you feel it. You're tapped into it. You know it. I remember going through um, like my childhood. I never was, I was fortunate to not really have been, to not have religion shoved at me. And I was able to kind of form my own concepts. Um, but I always had this like, almost naive faith, this naive sort of faith that like the idea of heaven is real. The idea of be, us being eternal souls is real. The idea that all this pain and suffering is, and is an illusion. It's not really real. It's just this game we're playing. I was never able to verbalize it, but I felt it. And I acted from that perspective of one who is really not as attached to this earthly experience as most people. And there's a lot of freedom in that. Number six is old souls are feeling as of right now, a bit more sensitive than usual and are going through a spiritual transformation right now. Yes, you old soul. You might have vied with the other points, but the point of this video is to bring awareness to something that you're already aware of yourself, but maybe have not yet put words to it. The fact that you're going through a shift, a changing, a shifting of your consciousness and a personal evolution and a, just a, a, a real raw, authentic, spiritual transformation right now. The old souls right now are waking up. The old souls right now have come here to change the game of this planet Earth and to set new tones and to break old patterns and to, to pave the way for a new dawn because that's what we need. The world is not doing so well. People are not loving each other. We're not helping each other. We're not really, we're not really living up to our potential. 
but the old souls have come here and gathered now on the planet knowing there would be a shift, a changing of the tides that they would become a part of and get swept away under. And that's what you're feeling right now. That's what you're going through in your life is that change, that transformation. And that transformation is going to give way to you being a more fully expressed old soul version of yourself and you'll be able to help other people eventually go through their own transformation that might not have the same intuitive understanding of things as you do, even if you've never once spoken about it. You're navigating your own transformation right now in spite of what's going on in your reality and in your life beautifully. And that's why you're here, to go through this, to show others that they can as well. And then together we can make big changes happen and see big improvements in our life. Number seven, old souls are connected heavily to a sense of purpose, a meaning, a reason for being alive today, right now. And the old souls are right now being tapped on the shoulder saying, it's time, it's time. It's time, old soul, to be your old soul self. To muster up the courage to speak your truth and to let your freak flag fly in whatever direction you want it to fly in. Now's the time to let go of the conventional thinking and the ways of doing things that you've already been sort of repelled by to begin with. And it's time to truly embrace your intuition and old soul self and let it out of the cage. Let yourself out of the cage. It's time to give yourself permission to be who you truly are, regardless of how people perceive you, regardless of what people say, regardless if people throw rocks at you. You came to be a force of change, old soul, so be it. It's time. That's why you're here and that's the only way you're going to feel satisfied in this lifetime is to be the person you came to be, okay? So as you can see, the point of this video was to, in a sense, lure the old souls in and hopefully say something that will resonate with them and spark them to feel encouraged to, to trust themselves and to be themselves because it's not easy. You're John Lennon's, you're Martin Luther King's, the people I described in the beginning, your Einstein's, they were ridiculed. They weren't always, uh, you know, they had to deal with a lot of adversity. And, and now we, to this day, there's books about them. We learn and grow from them and they, they made a, a lasting splash on the planet. And you can too, my friend, you have that same, you're tapped in like they were. They aren't, they were the conduits of those ideas. And so are you. And you're becoming more sensitive and open and receptive to those ideas than ever before. And the world is waiting on the bold, courageous old souls like yourself to start putting them out there, to putting yourself out there. You can do a lot of good and you can feel darn good doing it, okay? That's it, my friends. I'm going to bounce. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this experience. Have an amazing day, an amazing journey, and I'll be here next time for another video. If you are brand new to my channel, let me say I do offer everyone a free guided meditation to help you align with your higher consciousness more so in an in a aware way where you can use it and you can have access to those ideas more efficiently. It's totally free. Check it out down below if you'd like. With that said, I'm going to get out of here. Have an amazing day. Peace.